presentation is on Jane Addams. Um, Jane Addams was an influential figure in American history, and she was also a key factor in the world of education and social work. Um, she's known as the daughter of John Adams, our country's second president. She <clears throat> grew up kind of in his shadow, um, struggled with a lot of like depressive states and um, mental different kinds of mental illnesses um, and through that kind of found her calling to help other people. So this is going to talk a little bit about her social work but mostly about her approaches to working with children and um, how her influence has built in the world of education. So the impact that Jane Addams has had is really insurmountable and not just in education or social work, but also for just kind of mindset. Uh, when she was about to start Whole House, which is what she's known for, she noticed that the country was having a lot of changes. Um, the world was kind of going from... In, urbanization to industrialization. So there was a lot of big companies bringing in a lot of workers, um, a lot of which were immigrant workers. She noticed that they were being treated really poorly, so wanted to make a change. So she opened a place called Whole House. At Whole House, uh, there was adults there, there was teens there, there were kids there. And she really focused on servicing those underrepresented groups. So at this time, that would be immigrants, it would be women, um, especially in the middle class, who were restricted to certain job titles. And then also, she worked a lot with people of color, African <clears throat> Americans, and um, different people that were being, at the time, really suppressed. So she brought them into Hull House and educated them. Um, not only did she educate them, but she kind of created a bridge between their cultures and then the cultures of the United States. So she didn't just tell them how they should be coming to the United States. She also worked with them to try to make it so they didn't feel like they were out of the loop. Um, they were very much a part of society. So she helped them to understand what was expected of them being in the United States and also help them to understand their value being here and um, they did a lot of celebrations, a lot of things that embrace culture. So um, so the tie-in with education today is that as educators we have students coming in from all over and we really have no prediction or no, there's no way to guess every background of every student you've you'll ever work with. Um, so just kind of coming, letting them come in, feeling like they have a place, um, feeling like their culture and their beliefs are valued, and then also bridging that to what is expected in the curriculum that you're supposed to be teaching. So that bridge that she created for these people is huge. Um, and it's definitely something that educators today in the United States should be working for. Um, one thing that I want to point out is that Jane Addams did did go to seminary, actually. she So her original plan was to work for the church. She then graduated and went to med school, but she didn't continue because her father died. And she, um, she had some mental illness that she was struggling with, and she felt like she wanted to make a change in a different way. So that was when she opened Whole House. Um, from the Christian perspective, some may argue that her community building is founded on her beliefs in Christ, that she she recognized it through the Bible, but then kind of suppressed it a little bit, like didn't give the credit um, to God when she was working in Whole House. So that's one thing that's kind of controversial with Jane Addams. Um, but she really spent her life servicing others. And I think as educators, we can all agree that that's something that we all want to strive for and become better at. So that is her impact within education and also within social work. Um, here are some of the resources that I use 
So how Jane Addams expands our view on education, Jane Addams on citizenship and democracy, and then historical and philosophical foundations of education, uh, biographical introduction.